What's up everyone, my name is Cody Engel, I am a staff software engineer, and if you are watching this video, chances are good that you have no idea about the potential of NFTs. In this video, I'll give a quick overview about what NFTs are and how they are being used today. Then we'll talk about how NFTs will change the way that we live in the next five to 10 years. Videos like this one take a lot of time and energy. If you do end up enjoying this video, all I ask in return is that you smash the like button for the YouTube algorithm. NFT stands for non-fungible token, that sounds really scary, but it actually isn't that bad. Fungible is a thing such as money or a commodity. Something which is fungible can be replaced by another equal part of that same thing. Token, in this case, is a unit of a cryptocurrency such as Bitcoin or Ethereum. So with that, a non-fungible token is a token which cannot be replaced. It is uniquely unique. Today, we are seeing NFTs being used to sell digital art, Currently, the NFT market is worth around $250 million. You can purchase NFTs through websites such as Nifty Gateway, Super Rare, or Foundation. Through these services, you can buy digital artwork. That artwork can range from anything like a static image to a 30 second video. Because these are digital pieces of art, anyone can download them for free. And so you might be wondering, why would someone buy an NFT from Beeple for $69 million? When you buy an NFT, you are purchasing a token which lives on the blockchain as a smart contract. The first 5,000 days, is the NFT that Beeple sold for $69 million. It is a smart contract that lives on the Ethereum blockchain. It will live there forever. You cannot counterfeit a smart contract, and so ownership is very easy to verify. That ownership of the smart contract is what people are actually paying for. I don't care about owning the first 5,000 days. I think it is a really cool piece of art, and so because of that, I downloaded it for free from Christie's auction website. Right now, trading digital artwork is bringing a lot of attention to NFTs. While I think this use case will continue to exist in the future, it's not going to end there. And this is where I think everyone is getting NFTs completely wrong, because they think it is only for creatives, and that's not the case. NFTs cannot be counterfeit. Now take a moment and think about how many different industries would benefit from being able to easily verify that someone owns something. You can probably come up with a couple of unique use cases for NFTs yourself. Let me tell you about three that I've thought of so far. It has been over a year since I went anywhere that required a ticket, but back in the day, I would go to events that required tickets fairly frequently. If I wanted to go see a movie, I would get into the theater with a paper ticket. If I wanted to go see the Cubs play at Wrigley Field, I would also need a paper ticket. On that ticket, it would tell me which seat belonged to me for that game. And then Hamilton would work the exact same way. I got into the theater with a ticket. It told me which seat I could sit in, and that was that. For both Hamilton and the Cubs game, I would buy my ticket from a secondary marketplace such as Vivid Seats or Ticketmaster. I was always worried about counterfeiting, and I can guarantee that those companies that were selling me the ticket, they were just as concerned about counterfeiting. What do non-fungible tokens help to do? They help you prove ownership of something. This would completely solve counterfeiting for live events. There is an entire industry based on verifying professional credentials, and they're a pain in the butt to work with. During the background check for my current job, it took the background check service provider over a week to verify all of my information, and they bugged me multiple times throughout that process. Now, imagine if professional credentials were minted as NFTs. Along with getting a bachelor's degree in your field of study, imagine if you got an NFT that said what you studied, when you got your degree, who you are, and where you got your degree from. It doesn't have to end at NFTs either. You could get an NFT for your real estate license that verifies that you are an accredited realtor. If you are a lawyer, along with passing the bar, you'd get an NFT to prove it. This can be extended to just about every industry out there. Imagine a world where you didn't have to go through a background check agency and your credentials, they were verified nearly instantaneously. If you own a house, you have a deed which proves you own your house. If you have a car, you have a title which proves that you own the car. Non-fungible tokens could replace both of those. What if your front door had a smart lock on it that could verify that you have permission to unlock the door? Now, imagine that a car had something similar, except in addition to allowing you to open the door, it would also allow you to start the engine. Now, imagine if an NFT could be loaned out and returned to the original owner on a specific date. Suddenly, you can rent out your property without having to manage your locks. You could also rent your car to someone for the day, and you would note they only have access to the car for that one single day. NFTs 
are not limited to digital art. This technology has the potential to disrupt many parts of our lives in the next five to 10 years. Hopefully this video helped you better understand the potential for this technology. If it did, please be sure to smash the like button down below. If you thought about other use cases for NFTs, be sure to leave a comment down below. I would love to chat about it with you. If you aren't subscribed already, be sure to get subscribed, click the notification bell. That way you will be notified anytime I upload a new video like this one. Other than that, we have a growing Discord community. A link for that will be in the description down below. And that is it. That is the video. Thank you for watching and I will catch you in the next one.